What's going on here? Why is it back inside? What's inside? Let's get back inside in here. Welcome to the video. And uh, so today we have a little something special for you. And what do we have? What's this? What's under here? Oh, wait a second. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Why? Wow, big reveal. Look at this. Not so bad. I picked this up this weekend. Now it's got 23,000 kilometers on it. But supposedly it's blown. It's blown black smoke and slapping. So we're going to take it apart today and see if we can figure out whether or not it's worth repairing. Let's check it out. See if this will come out. So this bolt was already loose, so that should be able to slide out. Yep. So we have one of the cooler lines out. So then you got, you got this cooler line here that's stuck in there. You should be able to pry that one out. So let's do that. do is inspect it, make sure everything works, doesn't seem to be any kind of shaft play in there, and uh, yeah. turbine seems to be working, and like I said, it's only got 23,000 kilometers on it, oh, I think I spotted something here, what do we have here? No. Oh, I believe right here we have a crack there. Yeah, that's a crack right in the turbo housing, so that is replaceable. Pretty sure you can find that. So there's one problem. We are aware of my procedure. It's always putting stuff back so that you know where it goes when you're putting it back together. It's extremely important. Shield apart. So we get the manifold off. Let's get the exhaust manifold off. It's actually pretty cool. It's like a split in between the cylinders. So the, the exhaust manifold is one solid piece, but separated. Pretty cool. So 
always like to keep a sequence when I'm taking stuff off so it doesn't put too much pressure on one spot. So for the exhaust manifold there's 10 bolts in the back. It's actually very clean, like I said, there's only 23,000 kilometers on this motor. So. Now to the second half of the manifold. I'm going to be asking why am I taking apart the engine in the van. I'll tell you straight up, I don't have an engine hoist. So, we'll be taking this apart in the van. I was working as an apprentice. I uh, I've lost a few bolts. Which is why I do it this way now. And there's nothing worse than losing bolts and then not finding anything that fits. <laughs> right. I believe we found another issue here. So, look at the other cylinders, can you see the issue? This one's a little charred, but that's fine, that's fine, and oh, here we go, the third one, look at that, it's wet all the way around, that's, it's wet, and that's dry, so I believe our problem is coming from the number three cylinder, more to come on that.